Welcome back. In this chapter, we're going to talk about how to create a brand new page on Wikipedia. And to create a new article, we recommend that you do so in an area called the sandbox before moving it across into Wikipedia when it's ready. The sandbox is essentially a personal drafting area where you can take your time to get your page exactly as you want it. This means you can work on your page in private without overly enthusiastic editors jumping on you before you are ready, or worse still, trying to delete your incomplete page. So it's better to draft the page as much as you can before publishing it. Luckily, editing in your sandbox is exactly the same process as editing on Wikipedia. As discussed in Chapter 3, we recommend that you have all your references ready to ensure that the person you're adding is notable. To open up your sandbox, go to the top right-hand corner of Wikipedia and find the link to the sandbox. This may also be under a drop-down menu, so select Sandbox. To edit your sandbox, just select the Edit tab the same way that you would with an existing Wikipedia page. If you've just created a login for the first time, you might actually need to create your sandbox because the page hasn't actually been made yet. As you will see, there'll be a box at the top that will introduce you to your sandbox. So when you edit this page, click the Edit tab and select and delete everything in your sandbox so that you've got a completely blank page to work from. Then publish your changes. And this is where you might tell Wikipedia what you've done. So you might just say, create sandbox. So your sandbox is now live, but it's blank, of course, because we've just deleted everything that was in there. So this is where we're now going to draft our new page. To start building your new page, you're going to go back into the Edit tab. Make sure you're in the Visual Editor. As you can see, there's all sorts of different formatting tools that are really intuitive to use at the top of the page. And if you're not in your Visual Editor, you can always switch into it here. Let's say you want to create a new heading in your page. A heading like References, for example, because every page on Wikipedia has a References section. So then we can go in and select the exact formatting for a heading from the list here. You can then add some sentences or some sections above it straight into your sandbox. You can also copy across any pre-prepared work that you might have done offline as well. Now again, we need to make sure that everything we've written is referenced. So we need to add those as well. You can add your references at the end of each sentence or section. You can see a detailed step-by-step -step on how to add a reference in Chapter 8. But let me show you again quickly now. You place your cursor at the end of the sentence and then click this button with the little quotation marks on it, which is called the Cite button. Once you click on that, you will get the pop-up window which says Add a Citation. You can add your reference using the automatic tool or fill in the manual form if you need to. Then insert your reference and once you're done, you can publish it. And then you can keep adding those references throughout your page. Generally, when we create a page, the first mention of the name is in bold. So you can go under these formatting tools here and bold something. So there's lots of basic formatting tools there as well. It's also very easy to create a link in Wikipedia and Wikipedia loves linking so that everything is connected. So one page links to another and another and another as you're exploring. You can easily create a link by selecting the text that you want and then using the link button, also at the top. As you can see, you can search for relevant content throughout Wikipedia and then select whatever you're looking for from that list. And now you can see that there's a link and you can publish your page again to see those changes. Remembering that we're not actually publishing in Wikipedia, we're still in our sandbox, that private area. So you're going to add that little description too. And then you hit the Publish Changes button. And because you're not actually publishing live to Wikipedia yet, we recommend that you publish your page quite often within your sandbox so that you don't lose any of your work. There's nothing worse than doing all this work and then it suddenly disappears. So now that you're happy with your page and there's a few sentences and some quality references in there, you're ready to move your article across, out of your sandbox, into Wikipedia. To do so, you're going to select Move from under this drop-down menu here. You will need to select Article from the top 
And then in the next field, type the name of the article exactly as you want it to be with the right sentence case as well. You're then going to add a reason. For example, publish new page from Sandbox. Then select move page using the blue button at the bottom. The page is now live on Wikipedia and you can continue to edit from here if you want to. But if for some reason you can't find that move link under the drop down menu, it might just be because you're a brand new editor. So just give it a couple of days before you gain the right to move pages.